California in 1994. It was strung out of methamphetamine, living with a girl who hated me, I hated her. Playing with a band, they hated me, I hated them. Broke up with the band, broke up with the girl, jumped on my 1982 Yamaha 550-second motorcycle with no front brakes, no turn signals, with fire registration, and me with a suspended license, and I hit the road. Took off that day with a half gram of methamphetamine. Woo! Not enough. Ran out of drugs in Barstow. It was going to be a long, long trip. Made my way through the California desert on into the night. By day, found myself in Arizona. By noon, found myself in a little town called Seligman, Arizona. Population 600. Got a motel room. Right next to that motel room was a bar called the Black Cat. Walked into the Black Cat. In the middle of the day, there was me, the bartender, and a deaf mute Indian. I ordered a shot and a beer. Drank all day in that bar. As day gave way to night, the bar started to fill up the patrons who were real cowboys, who were real cowboy hats, real cowboy pants, and real cowboy shirts. Drank with these gentlemen all night long, avoided two fist fights, and had one of the best nights of my life. I woke up the next day with a raging hangover still coming down off the meth. Got back in my 1982 Yamaha, 50 second motorcycle with no front brakes, no turn signals, fire registration, he's still with a suspended license, now putting masking tape over the registration to fool the cops. And it worked. And I headed out across Arizona, and more of Arizona, nothing but heaping, steaming piles of Arizona laid out before me. But I passed through the lower portion of Arizona for the first time in my life. I saw cactus that looked like this. <laughs> New Mexico. Nothing happened in New Mexico. I just rolled right on through. <laughs> Down I-10 through Deming and Las Cruces up to the gateway to the great Lone Star State, Texas, and El Paso. The industrial waste of El Paso laid up before New Mexico on one side, the desert on the other, stopped it and got a hot dog at a 7-Eleven and kept on going. Deeper. Further. Into the vast great wasteland of West Texas in a little town called Kent. K-E-N-T. More about Kent in a second. Texas. The population exploded when I got there. A gas station, an off-ramp, me, and my broken down 1982 Yamaha 50-second motorcycle with no front brakes, no front brakes, no front brakes, no Steve, me, still with a suspended license, now standing on the side of the road in West Texas. The helmet. I was wearing a full-face helmet missing the visor the entire way on the trip. I'm now standing on the side of the road in West Texas with a sunburn that looks like this. I stick out my thumb, no one stops. I continue to stick out my thumb, no one stops. I make a sign of duct tape and a pin that simply says help. I fasten it to my hand, stick it out to traffic, no one stops. Finally, after four and a half hours, two black gentlemen from the city of Compton, California stop and pick me up. You know what they said to me? 
you didn't look like you was going nowhere. And they were right. Then they whipped out the biggest bag of weed I'd seen in a long time. We got high all the way down I-10. We rode all night down I-10 in that 1988 red Scirocco. Rolling joints, passing joints, rolling joints, passing joints, all night long. Down through the Texas Hill Country, through Junction to 290, 290, through Fredericksburg and Johnson City, to up ahead was a sign that said Austin City Limits, where they dropped me off at the Albertsons in Oak Hill at 4.30 in the morning. Albert! 